And here we go again. This is a 1975, 76, six inch Kuhorn blue bladed personal desk fan. And we're gonna pull it out of the uh, box here. And let's see what we're doing with. A little small one here for y'all today. So let's see what we're dealing with. It's a vintage 1975, 76. So here we go. Here it is. Beautiful blue blade, translucent blue, 1975-76 cool horn. I got the other cool horn, which is an earlier model. I think that's a 73-74. So this runs off a shaded pole motor. Get that straight a little bit. Uh, that's pretty good. It runs off a shaded pole motor, C frame. So let's see what we got. Let's hope the bearings are not crap. I hope no screw me over like the pad. I don't think these will. Shade pole motors are the most simplest motors to ever deal with. I can easily deal with that. So as always, I'm going to get you guys set up on the table. And we're going to run this vintage fan from 1975-76. And let's see what we got. So I ran it off camera just to make sure that it works and everything like that. And it does. But the problem is, the same problem with so many of these vintage fans that you get. A lot of times the washers go bad on them the bearings is fine spin down time is good but it's the washers that go bad on them and i'm not going to re repeat myself because i don't like to sound like a broken record but you pretty much already know by now no i'm not getting rid of it it works i'm keeping it all right there's a 1975 76 let's run it at full power there you go you hear the bearings or either the washers. I don't know which one is this. Washers, bearings, whatever. It's probably the bearings. But that's how I can deal with it. But I think it's the washers. I'm not up on all that stuff. I'm an average consumer when it comes to all that stuff. But yeah, I think it's the washers. Anyway, so it's running pretty good. It is a 1975 76. And uh, it's pretty easy to service. They got a little shaded for a motor. Yeah. That's what that noise is, but it is working. It's moving quite a bit of wind too for a little six inch fan. Yep, that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm just gonna be content with what I got and uh, stop dishing out money on vintage fans. For that very reason because when it comes to these machines a lot of them been used for decades especially these real early ones from the 70s and a lot of times the, the average consumer or whoever has it they don't know anything about taking care of the motors and they get the watchers and the bearings and all that get real bad and i'm just the average consumer when it comes to that stuff too but uh it seems to be working i don't know how long it's gonna last hopefully longer than the patent did but yeah so it's running on low the aesthetics look good. That always look good, but don't let that deceive you. The most important part is the motor. Can't really hear it all that bad on low. But even on low, this thing moves a substantial amount of air. It's 
really good. Running back to full power. Washer's going crazy. And spin it down. Spin down time is decent, so it's definitely not the pairings. It would have to be the washers. Beautiful Royal Blue. Well, there you go. There's my Royal Blue Cool Horn 1975-76 Death Fan with the washers screaming like they are, making that weird kind of noise on high, but it still runs real good and quiet down on low. All right, there you go. Huh? The month of Man goes vintage. All right, here we go. Finally, the month of Man goes vintage. The month of Man and out. Thanks for watching.